Pool Harbour on the south coast of England. In this film we are going to explore Pool Harbour using maps and satellite images. We will travel on a Brittany Ferries ship called motor vessel Barfleur. It sails from Poole to Cherbourg in France across the Channel, a distance of 65 miles, 105 kilometres. Our journey starts at the ferry port in Lower Hamworthy in Poole. You can see the route to the sea on this Google map around the north side of Banksy Island. Poole Harbour is one of the largest natural harbours in the world. Here we are departing the ferry port. Which direction is the ship sailing in? Does the ship pass other ships in the channel to the port, left side, or starboard, right side? Which direction are we looking in now, and what can you see? There are lots of different uses in the harbour. Commercial, recreational, military and environmental. Can you think of examples of each of these? And how might they be in conflict against each other? Here we are looking towards sandbanks. Which direction is the ship going? On this day in September, what do you think describes the wind? Light breeze on the face, leaves rustling. Gentle breeze, leaves and twigs constantly moving. Moderate breeze, small branches moving. Or fresh breeze, crested waves on the water with small trees swaying. Here the ship is still sailing in a southwest direction. Around the corner is the entrance of the harbour. In the distance you can see the chain ferry on the south side of the harbour entrance. On the map, Ordnance Survey have marked the ferry, a car park, public telephones, and a hotel on the sandbank side. Along the shoreline here, you can see large detached houses of different styles, each with a harbour frontage. These properties would be highly sought after. Even a plot without a building would be very valuable. For what reasons do you think? Here the ship is going to make its last turn before it heads out into open sea. Looking towards the stern of the ship, Brown Sea Island is coming into view as the ship makes the turn. On the US map there's marked woodland, a nature reserve, an outdoor centre, the castle, and a few tracks. The ship is now approaching the harbour entrance. 
Out of these properties, which do you think is the most modern and which is the oldest? The harbour entrance is hazardous. It is only 300 metres wide and the chain ferry sails across the entrance. The chain ferry has right of way over any other boat less than 50 metres in length. You can see the line of cars waiting for the ferry. The satellite image and the map clearly show the sea defences, the groins and the rock armour. Without sea defences, there would be a danger of losing sand on the beach and on damage to the buildings. Waves are created by wind blowing over the surface of the sea. The longer the fetch, that's the distance it blows over, and the stronger the wind, the larger the waves. The waves are small on this day because the wind is light. Here is the pilot boat leading a larger ship into the harbour. Goods of all sorts travel around the world quite inexpensively in containers although well, these aren't exactly containers but container ships are often seen in the channel so we used map skills to explore pool harbor